Hello guys, do you take notes when you read? I think you should because otherwise you are losing a lot of information and potential mainly because our brains forget a lot like I mean I forget like 90% of what I see <laughs> so uh, having a good note-taking system in place is key for keeping information and learning I used many different systems throughout the years and the best one so far is smart note-taking system and in this video I wanted to show you what it is and how I use it to improve my memory and to learn a lot of uh, things even though I'm not studying anymore I feel like you know you need to continuously learn in order to grow so uh, yeah and it's even harder to get the motivation going when you are adult. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The inventor of this method is Luhmann Becker and he was an academy professor and he wrote many books, so many and about various of different topics that uh, his colleagues were like, you know, how did you do that? And turns out he invented this amazing method and wrote a book about it uh, or somebody else did afterwards. I'm not sure about it, but uh, this method is, in my opinion, the best method ever uh, I've tried. Uh, so how it works, uh, you are basically creating index cards or individual notes about topics, but you are not trying to categorize them based on I don't know anything. Previously I you know tried to organize my notes into these folders for example when I was in school I tried to organize them based on subject and stuff like that and this is what's not like this is uh, forbidden in this system. You are just creating these notes uh, they are I think in the methodology they are calling them index card but it's just a note and in this note you are trying to describe a specific subject or like what's interesting to you in your own words and you are trying to explain it to yourself so basically you are trying to simplify concepts and then when you have these cards you are trying to link them to other cards so that's why you need this indexing functionality because uh, you then want to go back um, and search your other cards uh, and see if there are some relevant subjects and maybe you know link this card to that card or this note to to that note so for example when I'm learning about DNA I would have like 50 different notes about DNA they would all have some random information but they would be all linked together what I also like to do is to add hashtags because I use Apple notes and you can use a hashtag so I would do like hashtag DNA hashtag uh, biology whatever this way I'm uh, creating sort of um, like a web of information that is not very structured but that's the key because this is how our brain works uh, we are you know not structuring everything in like uh, direct folders we are basically collecting bits and pieces and then randomly connecting them together. All right, guys, so this is the setup. First kind of note in smart note taking system is a fleeting note. That means that is a note you are sort of taking as you're going. And I'm keeping these notes uh, here in the no default notes folder uh, before I do something else with them. So uh, let's say I will be, I don't know, researching uh, DNA and I will be reading this nice article on, on Wikipedia and for example I would be interested in base pairing. I would usually write down some headline, whatever, doesn't matter because we are not categorizing anything and then I would uh, read it. In DNA a double helix, each type of nucleobase um, one on one strand bonds with just one type of nucleobase on the other st uh, strand. This is called complementary ba base pairing. All right, so I would just like read this and I would say myself, all right, so there are two nucleobases and they are pairing together and they are pairing together uh, specifically like CG and uh, c c uh, the first is CG and uh, the, the other one is, let's see, AC. A c so I would read this paragraph and uh, even though this is, uh, you know, quite complicated text, I would basically uh, find out uh, that there are two types of pairing, uh, CG and AT, and that like these nuclear bases are pairing together. So I don't know, I would write it down as, um, you know, as like a more human sentence so I, I guess we can uh, speed this up 
All right, so this would be, let's say, a sentence I would write down for myself, which would be sort of understandable for me. You know, I knew and I already know what um, what nucleotides are, but uh, now I also know that uh, they are part in the specific way, which I already know, but you know, for the sake of example. Um, and so now, you know, I would probably continue my reading and uh, add like more uh, notes, but uh, let's have a look or, or let's progress with the smart note taking system. So after doing this, I would add a couple of hashtags um, because, you know, these uh, it's it's nice to have an ability to link and one of the abilities to link is through these through these hashtags. And then I would just keep it as is uh, and I would return to this node after some time. And after some time I would read it and I would correct this. Usually I have a lot of grammar mistakes here and I would try to, you know, rephrase it so it's more clear. And after I'm done with that, I would search uh, my already existing uh, database uh, for things regarding so see now I found a nice uh, a nice note see here I have a note about nucleotides in DNA which is perfect because this note from 4th of September 2021 is basically directly related to what I was uh, typing my note about today perfect so what would I do you know I want to link these notes together um, now this is um, this is sort of a complicated in uh, Apple Note, so let me show you how to do it. So you basically go here, you will basically try to add and then you click um, copy link here. Um, so I can add myself or I can uh, copy link. I hope it copied the link, sometimes it doesn't. Let me try it. No, it, it didn't copy the link. So, the last of some jurist, you know. All right, so now I copy the link and I can, I can insert it here, as you can see. It's quite complicated, you need to invite yourself and then you can uh, do the link. I usually do just the, just the hashtags because they are, uh, they are easy and this way I'm able to keep a lot of notes uh, going on. We are on 644 notes. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, probably there will be more notes and there are probably people with, uh, with uh, more and more notes. Uh, this is since I started this uh, system, so it's like a year ago, uh, maybe even not a year ago. Um, and uh, one thing to mention is that uh, then I have like two further categories. If I want some node to be permanent, I move it to permanent nodes. I sometimes merge nodes when uh, you know they are they go logically together. I have a specific folder for lit literature notes where I keep everything regarding what I read. Um, and these are I would say this <laughs> this specific one is not like. Uh, I'm still working on this book and this note, so it's it's not very precise. And then I have also an easy to access notes where I keep all of my personal stuff, stuff as well as uh, some notes I deleted from my previous system. So this is the setup I'm currently currently using. All right, guys, I have one question for you till the end. How do you take your notes? Do you underline uh, the passages? Do you maybe use this categorization or do you scribble it somewhere? Um, I'm quite interested as well as like what's your favorite tool because I know a lot of people love Notion and personally as as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I'm using Apple Notes because I just really like the simplicity and I like that it's uh, in the system. I used to use Notion it's a very beautiful tool but uh, unfortunately Apple Notes are just as useful I would say and with that said I would like to maybe invite you to check out my newsletter it's called Fridays Inspo you can find the link down below in the description and I talk about design technology what I'm researching what I'm learning and all of that good stuff and with that said thank you so much for watching and have a nice day bye bye